What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to look up individual venues for our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at putting individual venues up on the screen. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, in the last video, we created a form to add a venue from the website itself. In this video, I want to show you how to look up individual venues. So you can see we got a list of them here. We can click on any one and it will automatically go to a little page that has all the information we want about that venue. So you might remember uh, a while back, we created this page for all events. And if we head back over here and go to our events section, you see, we've got this page that just lists all of the events and that's fine. You might just want to do that. We could do the same thing with our venue page, but we also might just want to list all the venues and then have them clickable like I just showed you and then go to an individual page that has one of these on each thing. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And you can find a link to the code in the comment section below the pinned comment as well as a link to the playlist for the rest of these Django videos. And so check that out if you haven't already. So let's start out by creating a new page. So let's go to our templates directory and our events directory and create a new file. And let's save this as venues.html. Now we're going to create a couple of pages, one for the list of all the venues, and then one for the individual pages themselves for each venue. So we'll start out with this one venue.html. And then I'm going to go over to our let's see, home page. And I'm just going to copy all this text all this code and paste it in here. Now for here, let's just put venues dot dot, dot and we can kind of get rid of all of this stuff for now. Okay, let's just go ahead and save this. So let's create a URL for this really quickly. And I'm just going to come down here and copy this guy. And let's call this I don't know, list underscore venues. And here this is going to be in views dot list underscore venues. And let's name this list dash venues. Okay, so we've got our URL. Now we need this view. So let's go ahead and create that, save this file, and head over to our views.py file. And anywhere here, let's define list venues, pass in request. Now I'm gonna come down here and let's just copy this all events thing, because basically we're doing the same thing, right? But instead of event list, let's call this venue list. And instead of event objects all, we want venue objects all. Now, up here at the top here, we've imported our event model. So we also need to import our venue model. And if you don't remember, if we go to our models.py file, that's just the name of this class. Just like this event was the name of this class. So if we want to use all of the things in our venue model, we need to import venue up here. So we can do that. And then we can search that model search the database, pull out all of the venue objects and assign them to this venue list variable. And then we could just pass in this venue list right here like that. And then here for our request, we want to point this to venue.html because that's what we just called this guy. Okay, so we've got this variable. So we can come up here to our venue page. And inside of here, let's create a quick for loop. So let's go for venue in venue list. And I always want to close my four right away, right? So here we can just paste in venue for now, that's going to be fine. So okay, let's go ahead and save this. Now we also need a link to this in the nav bar. So let's go to our urls.py file. And we called this list venues. So if we go to our nav bar, there it is. And let's just create a quick link. So let me just paste this in here. And let's just copy this guy. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so here we're going to point this to list venues. And in here, let's just say venues. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this head back over to the website reload, see if I screwed that up. Ah, there it is venues, we click on it. Okay, so these are all on one line. So we probably want to fix that. So let's head over to our venue.html. And here we could just put a line break. Or whatever, save this reload. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five venues, it looks like. And that's cool. So first off, let me 
put a quick line break here just to <laughs> spread this out a little bit. Okay, so we've got them all listed. And just like with our events list, we could rough these out. We could put all of this information in. And we would just do that, like for instance, city park. If we come back over here, we're putting the venue. We could also put something else as well, anything at all. So if we go to our models.py file, we could see we've got the name, address, zip code, phone, web, email address. Maybe we want the website. So of course we could do that just by going venue.web, right? Save this because that's what we called it here. So now if we came back here and hit reload, we would see each of them has the, you know, the website address next to it if they have one. This one doesn't have one. So, okay, that's how you would do that if you wanted to. I don't really want to do that. So I'll take that off. I just kind of wanted to show you very quickly that that's how you can add any information from the class to this page. But what we want to do is create a link so that, let's go ahead and save this. When we come to this page, each of these will be clickable, right? So how do we do that? Well, it's actually really easy. So let's head over to our urls.py file and let's create a new path. And let's call this show underscore venue and then slash. And now we want to pass in something. And the thing I'm going to pass in, I'm just going to call it venue underscore ID. You can call this anything you want, but we're going to pass something in here. And then later on, we need to be able to do something with that thing we passed in there. It's going to be the ID. So we'll reference it by referencing venue ID. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So the URL will be show underscore venue slash venue ID. And you know, in our model, each of these has an ID that's generated by Django automatically, a primary key that's unique. So for instance, City Park is probably one. Area 41 is probably two. Las Vegas High School Gym is probably three, et cetera. They each have a unique number identified to them. So we'll use that number to look them up in the database. And we'll also use that number to create the URL, which we just did. Let's see where we go right there. Okay, so show underscore venue slash venue ID. Now we want to point this to views dot, let's call this show underscore venue, which we haven't created yet. We'll create it in just a second. And let's give it a name equal show dash venue. So, all right, let's put our comma here for good measure. Okay, so we've designated this show underscore venue view. Now we should go create that. So let's save this file, head back over to our views.py. And right up here, let's define show venue. Now, like always, we want to pass in request, but we also want to pass in that venue ID. Let's see, where did it go? That we passed in the URL, right? So we could paste that in as well. So now we want to look up the venue by its ID. So we can do that by creating a variable. And we come down here, we looked up everything in the database right here by calling venue.objects.all. That will grab everything in the database, but we can grab a specific item. We don't have to grab everything. We can sort of get a specific item, sort of search, but we call it get. We can get that item. And to do that, we call venue.objects. And you'll see venue.objects, so far the same. But instead of all, we want to get. And now we can pass in what we want to get. We want to get the primary key of venue ID, which is getting passed in through here, which is ultimately this thing right here. So if we go to show underscore venue slash four, that four will become venue ID. That four will get passed in right through here. And then we'll search for venue with ID of four. And like I said, when the model is created, when we create the when we add a new venue, it gets assigned a primary key, an ID automatically, and we can reference that. So, okay, let's see. So far, so good there. So now we just need to pass this in to the page itself. And we do that in the same way we always do by returning render. So instead of events venue.html, let's call events show underscore venue.html. And in instead of passing in venue list, let's just pass in venue. So we can pass in venue and venue. Okay, so let's see, have we created this page yet? Show underscore venue.html, I don't think so. Let's go ahead and save this. Head over to our templates, our events, and no, it doesn't look like it. So let's right click and create a new file and go file save as. And let's call show underscore venue.html, okay. 
And again, I'm just gonna head over to our home.html file and copy all of this code, bring it back over here and paste it in. But instead of saying, hello, blah, 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 we'll put venue and we can get rid of all of this. Instead, we just want venue, which save this file, we're passing in right here, which is what we just looked up that get object of venue ID. So if we say grab us number two, that's gonna be probably area 41. So then on this page, this will print out area 41 or whatever. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this, head back over here. And if we hit reload, we've got one more thing that to do. We've gotta create URLs on this venue page. So let's head back over to the venue page and you can see we're just listing these things out. And instead of that, let's create a link. And to do that, we can just call an a href tag and point it to something. So we wanna use our Django URL tag. So let's call URL. And where do we wanna point this? Well, we wanna point it to show venue, right? And we're getting this show venue from our urls.py file right here. So we named this thing show venue. So that's what we're referencing in the URL as normal. So it's show venue, but it's not quite. We also need to pass in the ID of each venue and the venues are listed right here. So venue. So if we want the ID of the venue, we can call venue.id. And we just put a space next to this right there and then venue.id. So let's go ahead and save this and come back here and refresh this and see if that worked. Okay, see we get links. And now if I hover over this, look down at the bottom left-hand corner, you can see show underscore venue slash one. Go to the next one, show underscore venue slash two, three, four, five. Oh, seven, this one, we took a jump. Why seven? Because we put some other ones in and then deleted them. So these are unique numbers. So if we created a venue with, for instance, six and then deleted it and then added a new one, the next one would be seven. So that's what we're seeing there. So I uh, so click on any of these and it goes to the page and it just has the name Las Vegas High School Gym and venue. And you can see up here, we're at show underscore venue dash three. If we go to four, that's downtown Vegas nightclub. If we go back and check that, yep, downtown Vegas nightclub. Very cool. So we can expand this page now because we know from our models.py file, our venue model has all of these things. So we can use them all. So name, address, zip code, phone, web, email. So let's go address zip code. So to do that, we come back over here. And instead of putting that there, let me put it in the H1 tag. Right, so if we save this really quickly and just reload, instead of it saying venue, boom, it's gonna say the name up there. I think that's better. And then for the rest of these things, we can just, you know, put them in, venue dot something. And let's put a line break. And let's go one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many of these there are. Let's look at our models. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so address, zip code, phone. Let's just sort of move these over address, zip code, phone. What else did we have? We had web and email address. So let's see, I'm gonna do email address and then web. You can put them in any order you want. So now if we save this, head back over here, hit reload, boom, we have the information. <laughs> There's not a lot going on for this one. So let's try this one. Again, we've got the URL. Now maybe we wanna make this URL clickable, we could do that. So we could just grab this thing and wrap it in a link. So a href equals, put that in like that, close our a tag. Now if we come back here and hit reload, boom, that's like that. Okay, looking pretty good. So if we go back here to your events, we see we've got this card, maybe we want the same thing for each of these things. We could do that if we wanted to. Head back over to our, let's see, event list, page, here's all that card code. So we can copy all of this, bring it back to our show venue and paste it in, and then just come through here and sort of rough this stuff in. So venue, let's see, come down to the card. Let's put some space here. So instead of the event here, let me just type in venue. And then for the title here, we can put the venue itself. And then here it looks just like a list. So we can just kind of, and let's get rid of the center thing as well. We could just sort of copy all of this stuff 
and bring it down here and just paste it in here. Get rid of all of this. Now these are our li tags with little bullet points. Maybe we want them, maybe we don't. If we just take out this, we won't have them. So let's save this and reload, see how this is looking. Okay, that looks pretty good. If you want the bullet points like they have here, you could do that too. Uh, let's see, and yeah, let's do it, why not? Let's go crazy. <laughs> so here we have the venue, and we could just put in that UL again, and then just put LI tags in all of these. Tab this over, boom, 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 boom. And instead of BR, these are gonna be closing LI tags. So we just change that very quickly. BR, 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 boom. Save this, come back, reload. Now there's bullets, maybe you like that better, whatever you like. But now this is very cool. So we can come back here, we still get a list. Now you're gonna wanna make this look nicer and maybe we'll do that in a minute, but that's so far so good. Now if we come back here, we can head over to Get Bootstrap really quickly, click on the docs, come down here, look for tables. I think it's in layouts maybe, no. I think it's in content, tables, yeah. So we could grab a table if we wanted to, make this look a little better. So head over to our venue page, here it says venues, so we want a table, close that table. Maybe we want to center it, maybe we don't. Take out the center thing. And we want a TR and a TD for each of these. We want to close our TD and close our TR. Okay, I think that looks good. Now if we save this, this isn't gonna look great yet but it's in a table now, but we can modify this. We come back to the get bootstrap thing. What do you like? I like hoverable rows. So to do that, we just add a table hover to our table thing here. So come up here, put a space and table hover. If we save this, come back here and hit reload. Okay, now it hovers, oh, that's looking better. So now what else do we want? Let's see, striped. I like the striped thing. So let's add table striped. So come back over here, boom, table striped. Save this, come back, hit reload. Ooh, looking better, looking better. What else? Um, active table, table border. Ooh, I like that. So let's put a border around this thing. And there we go, table bordered. Save this, come back over here, hit reload. Okay, so I think that's good for now. And we could change the colors or mess around with this all we wanted to, but eh, it's starting to come together. So now we click on one of these things, comes to here, looking pretty good. City Park. Okay, so that's how you add a list of things from the database, a class of things, and then make them clickable. We just come back over here. Again, remember, the secret is in passing the venue ID into the urls.py file, and then passing that into the view and then just looking up the venue ID in the database by going venue.objects.get, which is different than venue.objects.all, which we've been doing, which obviously pulls everything from the database. This just pulls one thing. And now there's lots of different ways to query the database, and we'll probably get into it in greater detail going forward, how to look up specific things, how to look up specific people, members, shows, venues, all the different things. Get is probably the one you're gonna use most often, but there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. And like I said, we'll get into that in future videos, but for now, I think we're moving right along and it's looking pretty good. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.